Today I want to tell you guys about some changes that's happening with DAT Load Board. Okay, so this is the deal, right? You guys might remember me telling you about the 30 day free trial with DAT Load Board and it was the first 30 days free promotion. Well, I want to tell you guys about a few changes, not just that one, because I know a lot of you guys are trying to sign up and running into issues, but things are changing with DAT, things are evolving, and I just want to make sure you guys are up to date. So one of the changes is they've decided to discontinue the 30 day free promotion. I know it's a bummer to a lot of us, but I'm gonna explain why. I have a connect directly with DAT and they told me that they are doing this to enhance security and basically reduce fraud on their network. So apparently a lot of people have been signing up for DAT and they haven't been using the low board for what it's for. Like people are, they signing up, they like selling like mass accounts, doing a whole bunch of stuff that's just against the policies that they already had in place. So they are basically creating new policies. Basically here's the new deal. So instead of the first 30 days free, they're offering new fresh offer, which is going to be 10% off of each month for your first 12 months. And it probably adds up to about the same amount as the first 30 days free altogether. It seems like they might just be wanting to spread that out, but this change is already taking effect. So you can no longer take advantage of the first 30 days free deal. Their words to me, this change is supposed to be about basically enhancing your experience as a user. So I've got more information um, to share with you about signing up as a dispatcher on the low board. So some of you guys have had questions about why the website is now asking for DOT and MC numbers when you want to sign up as a dispatcher. At first they had the option to say like, I'm a dispatcher when you um, go to the website and you're signing up on your own. So they're, like I said, the DOT is taking security really seriously right now. And, and it's not just them, it's a lot of other large low board marketplaces as well. You can Google them. I don't know all of the ones there are. There's a new verification process in place. So when you sign, when you want to sign up as a dispatcher, Here's what you need to know. Instead of doing it all on the website, you will have to call in now. So you'll also need to provide an MC number of the carrier that you'll be dispatching for. This is a crucial part of the verification process. That's a really big part of the verification process because now they say, if you're a dispatcher, you still can have access. You just can't sign up for yourself. You have to call in and there's a verification process that you'll go through. And this is only for dispatchers who live in the States, by the way. This is only for dispatchers who live in the United States. They are completely taking away access for um, international users. If you don't live in the States and you still have access right now, eventually that will be taken away. I'm hearing that people are getting their accounts blocked and they don't know why. And I'm asking like, where do you live? And they're like, you know, I live in Nigeria. I heard somebody say Pakistan or something like that. So they're taking away access if you don't, if you don't live in the States as well so if you are a dispatcher and you're in the state so you have to call in to sign up you have to have a carrier that you're possibly going to be dispatching for and when they ask for the mc number you're going to give them your carrier's mc number here's what will happen next they'll reach out to the carrier and confirm that you as a dispatcher you're going to be booking loads for that carrier that you gave that mc number for so it's just about ensuring, like I said, everything's legitimate and secure. They're gonna reach out to that carrier, whether it's a potential carrier or a carrier you're locked in with, and they are going to call them and ask them a couple of questions, just confirming that you're gonna be working with them as um, their dispatcher just to be booking for them. And so here's what I recommend. Just let the carrier know about this process. Let them know DAT is implementing some new changes lately and they're gonna call you and they're gonna confirm that I'm gonna be booking a couple of those with you as their dispatcher. Your carrier needs to be aware that DAT will be in touch with them to confirm that arrangement. And it's, it's just all a part of the security measures that they're putting in place. And you can let them know that these are new security measures because they are. And you can even let them know, like a, a lot of you guys are like nervous to tell your carriers this, but you can tell them like, this doesn't mean that we have to be locked in forever. And a lot of you guys are asking questions. Does this mean that if they have their own access to the low board, can you still give that MC number? I asked Miss, um, well, I don't wanna put her name out there, but she's the connect with DAT. I asked her and she said, yeah. She said that they can have their own access, but some of those carriers, they don't wanna give you their password, their login and information. They want you to have your own access. So just tell them DAT will come call you and confirm that I'm gonna be booking loads for you and I'll have my own access. I just want you to confirm with them that I will be working for you, whether it's short term, or, or whatever the case is. And I know it might seem like an extra step. And if you guys have any questions about this new process, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to help you guys navigate these changes and make sure you have the information that you need to stay informed. So stay informed, keep your carriers in a loop. If you have any questions, leave them down below. My name is Carly, thank you for watching.